Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duels. So this is deck profile for Heroes. Heroes are off. I'm getting bored of this deck. This deck is getting really boring, so I'm deciding to go ahead and take it off. Uh, what we'll be replacing it is Choo Choo Train, so you'll be seeing that at um, approximately 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So anyway, here is the deck profile for Heroes. I feel like I'm, I didn't do this deck right. I didn't give this deck justice, but it was getting boring anyway. So I'm pretty much going to go through and state why I did the things that I did. And... Um, you know, hopefully you guys understand. Go ahead and take the deck and make it your own, you know. Just go ahead and make heroes. Do I think heroes are going to top? Mm. Dark Lodge is your best chance, but I still feel like Kleeputs are probably going to beat the crap out of you. So, uh, good luck. Good luck. You know, even with Freeman and Gastratos, you know. Especially if they hit, like, Vanities, that might be it. You know, you know yes, Vanity sucks because, it, you know, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. But, you know, hitting Vanities just increases the odds of your opponent just out-special summoning you. And... Clearpoints will jump the hell out of here and beat the crap out of them, so, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have a problem with authority figures, but I'll go over that when I go through the deck profile. Alright, so starting off, I don't have many monsters because I have a lot of high search ability. Also, there's not a lot of good hero monsters. Um, I'm running triple alias. At first, I wasn't running the alias, but then I was like, he's a 19 beater. He's a light. I can get, I can run Gemini Spike will just, you know, have, give me more, um, you know, field control, you know, especially with the high search ability of the alias, all I need to do is just get that Gemini Spark and I can just go ahead and, uh, you know, do it. It's like their own little Icarus attack, so I personally like the alias-Gemini uh, Spark combo. I also like, you know, maybe going to Shining every once in Blue Moon, getting my cards back to my hand, but, um, you know, he's just really there just to be a 19 beater and to be a light monster. That's pretty much it. Triple Bubble Man, I use them sometimes. I use the Bubbly sometimes, uh, you know. Especially since he's a water, so more times than not, I just turned him into acid and like the background people quit. Or, you know, go ahead and Miracle Fusion with him into, you know, Absolute Zero, like the field. Or Miracle Fusion and Absolute Zero, then Mass Change into Acid and wipe everything. So, you know, Bubbly, you gotta run him because him and him are too good not to be running him. You know, you can run Ocean, but I say Bubble Man is better, especially with its whole, you know, no cards in hand. There's not a lot of monsters, so you can just settle onto your cards and just go special summon Bubble Man and then go for a C, so, uh, not terrible, so, bubbly. Of course, we're running the triple Shadow Mist, uh, the Shadow Mist to, uh, you know, search or against the graveyard, or you can go ahead and match turn it, so. Uh, one of my favorite combos that I love to play is with a hero list. You know, I've been mean, seeing a ton of people talk about heroes and how consistent they are, but I never see anybody comment anything about a hero lives. It's just like, what, you forgot about this card? Like, in my opinion, the hero lives is the best out of all the cards. You know, just being able to go, hero lives, pay half my life points, special summon sh shadow miss, search for a mass chain, set the mass chain, pass my opponent, during my opponent's turn, go ahead and turn the, dark, the shadow miss into a dark law and search. Like, I, I like that play. Like, in my opinion, hero lives is the strongest out of this, as stronger than this. You know, you know, stronger than, you know, a lot of the search cards, you know, stronger than this, because, you know, generally when you get the heroes to your hand, you know, what are you doing? You know, you get them to your hand, you normal summon them, and, you know, this special summons them, which means that you still get your normal summons, and you get the search with this, for this, and then, you know, you can only use the, you can only use one of the effects of Shadow Mist only once per turn, only once that turn, so you can't go, you know, special summon Shadow Mist, search, then mass change your Dark Law, then search, like, you know, you, know, it ha you have to wait till your opponent's turn, which is totally fine, you know? So, a person I really like, Hero Limbs. If I would run this deck, uh, you know, competitively, I would definitely run it because it just summons uh, Dark Law much, 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 much faster than this card, this card, or this card could even do because you get to search for this. So, definitely, definitely Hero Limbs. You know, life points don't mean shit. You know, as long as you can lock down your opponent and make sure that they're not playing Yu Gi Oh! and you know, keep your resources up, that's how you win. You know, I've seen duels where the one player had 100 life points, one player had 8,000 life points, and the player with 100 life points came all the way back and won the duel because he out-resourced the opponent with 8,000. Actually, it happened to me one duel where, in, at uh, YCS Anaheim where my opponent had 50 and I had 8,000. I ran out of resources, my opponent still had resources, he came all the way back and beat me, so it's all about resources. Fuck life points, fuck life points. Alright, uh, I'm running the one thing, the King Ryo. I thought, you know, I tried to, you know, go back and refer back to the old heroes of, you know, the olden days where, you know, they run a lot of back row, they run Thunder King, and they just kind of just, you know, one-up you with back row while keep it sitting on a Thunder King, like how old heroes used to be, but, you know, uh, along with being aggressive. It's kind of like aggressive and control, 
you know, because they'll go aggressive and they'll bubble beat you to death if they if they see an opening. But if not, they'll just you know sit on it. And they'll sit on you know the straddles or they'll sit on the Thunder King. Set a crap ton of back row because their so high consistency was so high they could run a lot of back row and low monster count. Me on the other hand, that kind of fucked that up. Like I probably could have dropped a lot of these spell cards and put more back row. I think that's the major flaw with the, what I did with this deck. I need more back row. You know, nine trap cards. That's not enough. This deck should be running like fifteen, like maybe like twenty. But you know, like a lot of these cards are so good, I definitely wanted to play it. So. No, and then I know I have high consistency. Yes, I have triple shadow mist, triple e call, triple rota, and triple you know lead. That's a lot of search cards. Yet sometimes I wouldn't even open up with any monsters nor search cards. You know, that's technically that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Technically twenty-two ways to get monsters, but uh, you know, or eight or nineteen if you don't want to count these twice. But you know. But yet, I still wasn't getting it, so I don't know. I don't know. So, like I said, I think maybe I would have ran, I should have ran more background. Maybe took out either the Rotas or the E Calls. Maybe even just the Gemini Sparks. But I kind of liked the Gemini Sparks. They were kind of working with that whole alias thing, you know. My opponent summons a problem card, go ahead and tribute the alias, blow that up, and draw a card, you know. So, I use two of my cards, but I draw a card to blow up one of my opponent's cards, so, you know, it's an even exchange. So, my opponent gets, you know, one of their cards destroyed for two of my cards, and then I draw. So, you know, I kind of like Gemini Spark. Anyway, let me go ahead and continue. I ran Regeki. Uh, this deck has a problem with authority figures. Definitely, definitely, definitely has a problem with authority figures. You summon something stronger than 25, and a hero player doesn't have the right cards to combat that monster with 25, it's GG. It's GG. They, they have a really hard time, you know. That's one of the reasons why I ran the Deep Prison, is because... My opponent would summon monsters that are stronger than anything I could summon, so at least I could deep prison and get out of my way, because if it was too strong, I couldn't handle it, you know? What the hell is going into Dark Wall gonna do? Nothing. I'm not strong enough, you know? What is Acid gonna do? Nothing. I'm not strong enough, you know? So, unless, you know, uh, you know, unless that 300 drop is enough for Acid to run it over, but they summon like a 3,000 monster, yeah, you know, I hope I got a Miracle Fusion in the Absolute Zero, and hopefully that like, the monster can be destroyed by card effect, because if they got a build, then oh, fuck, you know? So, Deep Person, you know, I was hoping, I was hoping to hold it down with Deep Person. Anyway, I already talked about Gemini Spark, e, e Emergent Call. Uh, it'd either be one of these two, getting taken out for more back row, because uh, the consistency is fine, but I need more back row. I definitely need more back row, so probably one of these two, and just more, more back row, more hate, you know? Heroes are supposed to be a control deck, and clearly, as you can see, I wasn't controlling it right, you know. I was running Summer Monk for a little while, but then I said to take them out, so you could probably make, you know, take some of these out for maybe some Summoner Monk, like maybe take this out for some Summoner Monk, just to, you know, go, you know, Summoner Monk, pitch a spell, because there's a high number of spells. You should summon Shadow Mist, search, and then set it, and then pass your opponent, turn it, so that might help. So I'd definitely say running Summoner Monk, Summoner Monk would help, you know. The question is, if Free My Nigga Stratos came off, would you run him? You know, if you're going to drop some of the Rotas and some of the E-Calls and stuff, I'd say run him. He's another monster. He's a monster that can search for another monster. Um, the way that Metro deck ends, I'm run, I mean, he's being ran. He really doesn't have a spot. I mean, I could play Kamikaze, but eh. Yeah. You know. So, you know, I guess. Yeah, Free Mega Shadow came off. But really, just the high consistency. Sometimes I wouldn't open up with anything, but, you know, I've noticed playing the deck that adding the, the, the monsters to your hand... Really wasn't that, you know, great. It's like, ooh, yay, I searched for a human monster. And, you know, unless you already, you know, have the play set up, you know, if you're not set up with your play, searching for the hero monster isn't going to do you any good, so what's the point? I don't know. Of course, I run triple mass change, so I can go ahead and turn into uh, dark walls, so I can turn into acid, you know, cross my fingers and hope that I get a miracle fusion having two of these guys in the graveyard for contrast hero chaos, because I love this guy. He's awesome. He's my favorite mass hero, but didn't really get to summon him that often. Of course, triple Miracle Fusion, that's a given, like, this is a hero deck. Miracle Fusion, Miracle Fusion, the uh, into Absolute Zero, Miracle Fusion, the Shining, Miracle Fusion, into Contra Hero Chaos, awesome. Triple Hero Lips, uh, this is my favorite out of all of them, all of them, Hero Lips, yes. Like I said, I, I, if I was going to continue playing this game, I'd probably take out some of these searcher cards and put in some somewhere around, because Hero Lips and Sunderbunk pretty much do the same thing for me. Search me for that Mass Chain. I wasn't a really big fan of Mass Chain second, I didn't like the discarding aspect, um, you know, turning, um, non-hero into mass change 
would be nice and all, but, you know, the only one who could really, you know, utilize that without, when you know, unlike just using regular mask training and not, you know, nagging like that. It's already a neg. You know, I've taken a monster I have, I'm playing Mash Chain, so I'm using two cards to summon one. I'm already neg. But Mash Chain second, you neg two. So, you know, just to turn a non elemental hero into a master monster, but as you can clearly see, all the monsters are heroes. The only one I could utilize that would be turning Thunder King into Koga, but I really don't want to do that. So, not a big fan of that. So, that's the real why I didn't run it. I'd rather run uh, Mash Charge and get me back my Mash Chains than run more Mash Chain second. So, that was my opinion with that. So, Mass Charge, I think, is a pretty good card. Um, it definitely helps me bring out Contrast Hero Chaos Flasher because I could just go and get and go to place. So, um, I only felt like I wanted to one two because three, I tried three, it was super cloggy because I wouldn't get Mass Change all the time, therefore I couldn't even play this card. It would clog in my hand. So, maybe with uh, you know the inclusion of the Summoner Monk, I would, of course, get my Mass Changes more often because I would summon Shadow, Special Summon Shadow Mist more often and, of course, Search more often. So, um, maybe... You know, just that. So just more, more mash. No, not more mash charge. I think two is a fine number. Three is cloggy. Three is definitely clog cloggy. But um, summoner monk, I definitely say consider running summoner monk. You know, especially with the high spell count. So I'd say maybe strip some of this. Maybe strip some of this. Maybe strip some of this. This stays. Maybe depend on how you feel about this. This stays. The the all of this stays. All of this stays. These this these eleven cards they stay. They're the, they're, the, they're the meat and the potatoes of the spell cards. These are debatable. You, you, these are debatable. You know. With the high special summoning of uh, Shadow Mist that you're going to have and, you know, the high searching of uh, Mass Chain, you can always just Mass Chain during your opponent's turn. Not the turn that you special summon Shadow Mist and search for Mass Chain, but, you know, the turn after that and just turn it into a Dark Law and then search for your hero monster. So, you really don't need all of this, you know. So, that's just me personally. You know, I've never been a big fan of heroes. I've never really played heroes. I've never really liked heroes. So, you know, to just jump into heroes like this and probably play it incorrectly is probably my bad. But, hey, what are you going to do, right? All right, so those are all the spell cards. Like I said, these 11, yes. I'd say i definitely recommend running, you know, Summer Monk. I'd probably say you could probably take all of this out. But this can be considered a, a trap card, but it's destruction. So, you know, if you're going to, get, if you're going to be played competitively, then no, not these. So... Probably say depends on how um um uh burning a biscuit hit because regeki has actually been going up in popularity because of course the opponent would go up and get set up with their fire lake play and before you can before you even commit to anything and run into the fire lake you can just go ahead and regeki your opponent so you know that's something that they've been doing lately so that's a thing you know and then when you regeki your opponent depending on what they have they generally have sir and Dante, Dante will grab back a Burning Abyss, but it's not Fire Lake because, you know, unless they want to go ahead and chain Fire Lake to the Regeki just to pop the Regeki, you know, that way they can go Dante, grab back the Fire Lake, and then so would grab back Dante, but then at that point they've already used their Fire Lake, or they didn't use the Fire Lake, and at that point Dante would grab back something else, so would revive the Dante, but then they would only have one Burning Abyss monster, which means that you don't have to worry about getting Fire Lake that turn, so, uh, Regeki's not terrible. Like I said, this deck has a problem with the 30 figure, so that's why I read Murgeki, but running more back row would simply just resolve that, definitely, so uh, you know, you could probably take out the Regeki, you could probably take out the Gemini Sparks, probably take out the Emergency Call, take out the Rodas, put in two Summer Monks, and now you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots for more back row. So you literally just increase your trap count from 9 to 17, so you could probably get away with that. Anyway, let me go to the traps. I ran the deep prison. Like I said, the deck has a problem with authority figure, so it's like definitely deep prison because they're gonna wrap my ass over. Uh, I decided to go with the bottom list because once again, problem with authority figures. And our destruction is not that good, but you know when my opponent like you know, uh, you know exceeds or or synchros into a big monster that's you know hopefully not built, I can go ahead and just bottomless it. So yeah, and also bo bottomless has been going back up your popularity because of cleat plate. So yeah, uh, for uh, burning abyss and shadows, not so much. Uh, compulse. So, uh, Compulse, still a fairly good card. Just go ahead and uh, could bounce anything that's in my way. So I'm warning, sure. You know, I'm already paying life points with this, so why not this? And then, of course, Triple Vanity's Emptiness, because, like I said, problem with authority figures. You only use special summon authority figures, so if I can just go ahead and summon a Dark, uh, dark Law and still have that Vanity's, hopefully I can win the duel. So, you know, with this upcoming list, if Vanity's probably getting hit down to one, um, you know, I said 17, 
which then this would drop down to seven. So you have you have room for ten more trap cards, not including Van Gunther. So you know, hopefully you can find the hate in your heart. You know, and as I said, usually you would put it with a whole bunch of like you know effect negates and lots of breakthrough skills, the Phoenix change to gate effects. But then of course. What is that doing against Cleat play? So, you know, we're, we're kind of torn here. And yes, you would love to go ahead and, you know, you know, break through skill and stuff like that. But then there's some decks that aren't good, you know. The, 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 the meta is definitely torn right now. And I tell you the truth, I just don't see Mass Heroes finding a way in it, you know. OCG has had heroes for forever, for a cool minute, longer than us. Even with Stratos and all their new support. And they topped it a little bit at the beginning. But as soon as Cleat put game out, Cleat came out. They and they fell off. They they haven't shown up because a they have a problem with authority figures and b you know that back row that that effect negation you know they even have triple compulse over there and they have more back row than us and they're still struggling so you know but that game's up that OCG land is faster than us here in TCG land so you know maybe with enough hate but like I said with if vanities goes down to one this would definitely hurt the deck because they need the vanities to lock down the the authority figures and there's not a lot of back row that can handle both. Burning Abyss, Shadals, I mean, Burning Abyss, Shadals, and uh, Kleep Put, respectively, you know? Like, oh, well, I can run Forbidden Chalice against, you know, uh, Shadals, but then, you know, in Burning Abyss, who are you really hitting? You're kind of hitting, what, Tour Guide? Nah, you know? Um, you know, I can run, you know, you know, Breakthrough Skill, but nah, you know? You know, you could probably run the, can you run the Remove and Play stuff? I think your shit has to be sent to the graveyard, doesn't it? So, mmm, you know? And that's not really helping either, because that's only that's really only three cards, and then those cards aren't really good against Cleat Put, you know. So it's it's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Like I said, you know, the structure of the deck is coming at the end of January, and uh, you know, we'll go ahead and see the ban list. If Free Money Shadowless is out, then hey, off, then hey, congratulations. Just go ahead and walk him out the prison door, shake the man's hand, move on with your life, and then he's like, he's like, I'm back, baby, like Bender, and then he's not going to do shit, because it's that, I don't think it, I can't, I don't think it can. I don't mean to offend any hero players, but I just don't think this deck can handle the meta the way that it is, especially if Vanities gets hit, because that Vanities is going to be this deck's saving grace, you know, with summoning Dark Claw and, and having Vanities on the field, that might be the deck, and hopefully Skill Drain gets hit, because if Skill Drain doesn't get hit, yeah, Vanities does, oh, this deck's done, this deck is done, Cleepot's going to kick the living shit out of this deck, I, I will never see an ass beating so damn hard because Cleepots are just gonna fucking skill drain the living shit out of them. They're not gonna have vanities. They're gonna have these fucking monster beaters, which I already said this deck has a problem with authority figures, you know. Easily run over this guy. Because it's supposed to be the idea is to go this guy, flip up the vanities. This guy would pretty much just every time they search, banish a card out of their hand, which hurts, but it doesn't lock it down. It's no it's no Thunder King. It's not like hey, you can't search, it's just like hey. If you search, I'm just going to banish a random card from your hand. So, for all I know, you know, you, you know, activate Scout, you search for something, then I activate Dark Law, you know, and I banish a random card, and I don't banish a card that you search for, which may be stronger than, you know, what I banish from your hand, and I end up getting my butt kicked. So, it helps, but, yeah. You know, like, this card is supposed to be the saving grace of the format. Like, this is, this is supposed to be the saving grace of heroes. So... Hopefully you need to get this guy out as consistently as quick as possible. So don't do what I do. Don't do the don't you really don't need the e calls. You don't need the rose. You need the hero lives. You need summoner monks. You need to special summon this guy. All right, you're probably running why I'm I'm wondering the reason why I didn't run Blaze Man is because a I'm not sure if he's coming out in the TCG. So I wonder make a more uh, TCG related deck. And b he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. You you don't need to search for Polly. You don't need to do that. No. It's more of a match change that the most polling you're gonna do is Miracle Fader. No, you don't need Polly. B, the way he's, he's, you know, he is, when you go summon Blaze Man, Blaze Man send, uh, 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 Shadow Mist and search, he's kind of like this or this. I'd say the only saving grace is, is that then he becomes a dark and then you can just go ahead and mass change him if you have mass change. So I would run Blaze Man over these two, but it, 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 it's close. It's close, you know? Like these literally do the exact same thing in this deck is the exact same thing. So, you know, these two are on the same par. Then um then Blaze Man. If Blaze Man comes out in TCG, I'm unsure. Then this is at the tippity top along with Summoner Monk. Because you need special summon this guy. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and go to the next deck. So I ran two episode zeros, Miracle Fusion. Don't go into him all the time, but still, he's nice to have. Then I ran one shining, so I can get my cards back with uh alias. Uh 
too dark well I kind of felt like three wasn't really necessary until I felt like two was enough to lock down the door and then of course if I get multiple dark wells in the, in the graveyard call is Miracle Fusion right into Contra's Hero Chaos who's awesome and I love him so uh, one Contra's Hero Chaos I don't summon him that often but when I do he's awesome it's like it's like summoning it's like summoning an Egyptian god card it takes a little while to set up and when you summon him you just feel so powerful so Contra's Hero Chaos is awesome uh, one Koga I uh, think I used him maybe like once you know He's a strong beater, that's pretty much it, you know, it can help you win end games, you can go like poke you for 1900, then mass change into Koga, and then poke you for, you know, 2500, so, you know, that's half your opponent's life points right there, so, not bad. Um, two acid, because I love just going bubble man, and then mass changing, and then wiping the field, so, and wiping the back rail, and making my opponent quit. Um, and then two castells, you could probably drop this down in one, but it kind of felt like, you know, with the special summoning a bubble man a lot, you know. And the authority figure that kind of felt like spinning monsters and stuff with Castell. 101, I like 101. I generally like to go 1 Castell, 101. When I really put everything back, when I just time on Cowboy. Cowboy wins games. Alright, so like I said, depending on how this ban list is, even with free my nigga Stratos, for heroes, freeing my nigga Stratos is not the important thing on this ban list. You know, you need, for this deck to survive, you need to have Vanities on hit, which I doubt it, and you need to have Skill Drain hit. Like, that's what, the, what you need. You know, and then it'll help your matchup against Plate Plate, but your matchup against, you know, Shadows and Burning Abyss will definitely be helped by him. So you need to get him out because it's really impossible. But it's the, this goes down to one, and Skill Drain says that's where you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. There's nothing you can do. You're fucked. You're going to get your ass beat by Plate Plate. So, yeah. Not including the fact that they run Chalice. So, and they have their own searchable Skill Drain. You know. So, what is it? Re. 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 Clipport? Re. I think it's called Reclip Port, right? Yeah, Re Reclip Port. When a level 4 lower monster is normal summoned or special summoned, it affects until the end phase of its turn. I negate it, alright. A level 5 or higher monster special summoned, negate its effect until the end of this turn. Also banish it when it leaves the field. Alright, so. Um, that wouldn't be too terrible. The only thing. You, you, would, you would be fine. Because it would only be till the end of the turn. So, really, the only person that this really hurts is him. It hurts him. Uh, it doesn't really hurt him. Kind of hurts him. Yeah, doesn't really hurt him. Because you're probably going to be using this on... Unless you use it on your opponent's turn. Like, and it would mess up your, your whole hero list play. Because you would go... On your opponent's turn, you would go... Turn your Shadow Mist into a Dark Wall. But then re it the turn that is special summons effect in the gate, which means then your opponent could still go ahead and search with, uh, um, uh, you know, their scout, and then if they can actually take him out, he would get banished. So, usually he's doing the banishing, but this would banish him, you know. So, it's a searchable skill drain for Cleaport. So, for Cleaport, so, yeah. So, that should be fun. You know, OCG only runs one, so... You know, depending on how skill drain gets hit, we might see more of this card. But literally, it turns their monsters into, into stronger beaters, stronger than your than your uh, heroes, stronger than your fusion, stronger than your heroes. So you might be struggling, especially with this card. So I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, good luck here, players. I don't like the deck, and it's, that's the reason why it's off. I got bored of it. It's really linear. It's really boring. It's a competitive deck. Hopefully, it's really it's a control deck. It's a uh, is it a control deck. Yeah. No. No, it's more of a stun deck. It's more of a stun deck, not a control deck. No, 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 it's a control deck. It's a control deck. Yeah. But uh, hopefully you can control the meta. But like I said, bringing my nigga Stratus is not the important, most important thing on this ban list. The most important thing on this ban list is how everything else is, uh, is shifted. How, how the meta is hit. Because if the meta is not hit hard enough, you can't, you can't even compete. Even with Stratus, you're not going to be able to compete. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this tech profile. So like I said, Choo Choo Trains are going to be on uh, daily duels um it's gonna be fun it's gonna be funny i'm gonna hopefully make a lot of train puns and uh you know the deck is topping an ocg so under the malls of daily duels and technically can be on here on daily duels all right so i hope that you guys enjoy it i hope you guys understand what i'm saying and uh go ahead and make mass heroes yourself and have fun with it all right so um, thanks for watching thanks for all the support and i will see you guys uh later today with uh, some trains all right thanks for watching